Hello everyone and welcome back to Aviation A to Z. Today we are going to compare the giant aerospace company Boeing and market leader Airbus Corporation and the product is narrow body aircraft. The criteria for comparison is passenger capacity and range of aircraft. So let us get started. Those who don't know what is narrow body, then here's a brief summary about it. A narrow body or a single aired aircraft is an airliner arranged along a single air, that is single pathway, permitting up to six abreast sitting in cabin below four meter of width. To know more about it, read our blog on narrow body aircraft facts. Also, to know about Boeing company and Airbus. Watch our video on Boeing's biggest aerospace competitors. Link is provided in description of this video. Airbus narrowbody aircrafts are all coming under A320 family. While Boeing has various narrowbody aircrafts, out of that Boeing 737 variants are direct rivals to A320 aircrafts. So let's begin the comparison between Airbus and Boeing. One more thing, Airbus has bought Bombardier C-Series CS100 and CS300 and renamed it as A220-100 and-300 on 1st July 2018. So now A220-100 having 100 to 135 sitting capacity and huge range of 6297 km gives close competition to Boeing 737-600 having capacity of 108 to 130 passenger while slightly lesser range of 5991 km. Remember all the sitting capacity and range are for two class to exit limit that is best or ideal configuration to maximum number of seats available. Moving ahead we have A318 which has sitting capacity 107 to 136 and range of 5740 km. It competes with the closed Boeing aircraft Boeing 737-200, a classic and one of the oldest Boeing 737 family aircraft having capacity of 102 to 136 and range of 4800 km. Boeing also had Boeing 737-100 but it only had 85 to 124 sitting capacity and short range of 2850. Because of that Boeing only received 30 orders. Now A319, which is very similar with A220-300, gives competition to Boeing 737-700. And here are the states on all three aircraft. A319 have sitting capacity of 124 to 156, while A220-300 has 120 to 160 passenger capacity, and 737 has 128 to 149. Talking about range. A319 has huge range of 6940 km, 220 has 6574 km and 737-700 has 5570 km. So far you can understand that Airbus planes have huge range compared with Boeing planes despite having similar capacity. Moving ahead we have A319neo which gives head to head competition to Boeing 737 MAX 7 and here are the details. A319 Neo has sitting capacity of 140 to 160 and range of 6940 km, while MAX 7 has sitting capacity of 153 to 172 and range of 7130 km. Here, the Boeing has increased the sitting capacity and range to compete with Airbus planes in better way. But unfortunately, the grounding of Boeing 737 MAX has given edge to Airbus and it is now market leader in aerospace industry for producing more number of civilian aircrafts. Now this is interesting comparison between original A320-100-200 with Boeing 737 NG 800s and 900s and here are the states for all four aircrafts. A320-100 has sitting capacity of 150 to 185 while 200 has 150 to 190 or 195. 190 is for FAR and 195 is for YASA exit limit. Boeing 737-100 has 160 to 189-195. slash while 900 has 177 to 189 slash 200. Talking about range, we have 6112 km and 6112 km similar range for both the aircraft. While 5436 km for Ash 800 and 5083 km for 900. So this is very close competition, but again Airbus has won this battle. Now let us compare A320neo with Boeing 737 MAX 8. A320neo has sitting capacity of 150 to 194 and range of 6500 km, 
while 737 MAX 8 has 178 to 200 sitting capacity and range of 6570 km. This close battle is won by Boeing and that's why Boeing has not lost hope after two crash of Boeing 737 MAX because it is their best product after 737NG and only plans to compete with Airbus A320 family NEOs and CEOs. Now it's getting more interesting so let's compare Airbus A321-200 with Boeing 737-900ER and here's the state. A321-100 has sitting capacity of 169 to 200 and 200 has 169 to 220 while 900ER has 177 to 189. Talking about range, both A321-100 and 200 has similar range of 5930 km while 900ER has 5460 km. Again Airbus has won this mini battle. Have you ever noticed that Airbus A320 family are better than Boeing 737 Classical and NG, while Boeing 737 MAX family has slight edge over Airbus A320 family? But wait, Airbus has trump card in the form of A320 with NEO. So let's see who are going to compete with A321 series. A321 NEO versus Boeing 737 MAX 9 and Boeing 737 MAX 10. So let's see the states. A321 NEO has sitting capacity of 180 to 244, while 737 MAX 9 has 193 to 220, and MAX 10 has 204 to 230. Talking about range, A321 NEO has 7400 km of range, while MAX 9 has 6570 km of range, and MAX 10 has 6110 km. So I told you, A321 NEO is far better than Boeing 737 MAX 9 and 10 in both the criteria. Also, Airbus has 321LR and A321XLR. So let's see the states. A321LR and A321XLR has same seating capacity of 180 to 244 passengers. And there is noticeable difference in range of both the aircraft. A321 LR has 7900 km of range while A321 XLR has 8300 km of range. Unfortunately, Boeing has no answer for this masterpiece of Airbus in the form of A321 LR and XLR who are going to fly in 2023. But never underestimate the Boeing because they are also working on new concept to compete with such highly efficient planes and it named it Boeing NMA that is Boeing new mid-size airplane. This NMA is proposed by Boeing to fill the gap of middle market segment and will lie between 757 and 767. As 757 and 767 is now on age of extension, but it has ruled the sky for more than 40 years and Boeing knew that such planes have huge demand and cannot be fulfilled by 737 and 787. So they want a replacement for 757 and 767 and probably Boeing will name it Boeing 797. So if you want a separate and detailed video on it then please let us know in comment section. So there was some really close battles between Airbus and Boeing but Airbus has won many small and big comparisons and that's why we can say that Airbus narrowbody are slightly better than Boeing narrowbodies. With that, we can conclude that both are deserving company to rule the aerospace industry and has to poly over it. That was all for today. We hope to see such good competitive spirit between two and if you want to see the summary of this video, then check out our blog on it at a 2 zblog 13 website. One stop for all the aviation updates. And if you are still watching, then here is your bonus. Boeing earlier had various narrowbody planes and here are the states for various variants of it. Boeing 707 had 6 to 7 variants and we will make a detailed video on it. But in short, it was the first jetliner of Boeing commercial airplane division and it was developed from Boeing 367-80 and first flew on 20 December 1957. Later Boeing developed 720 from 707. Boeing also had 717 originally designed and marketed by MDS MD95. Boeing then later bought Boeing 727, a trijet to fulfill shorter flight length on December 5, 1960. With more efficient engines, Boeing decided to make a long-range narrow-body Boeing 757, and Boeing has produced 1,050 such aircrafts 
until 2004. It then launched Boeing 737NG, that is 600, 700, 800, and 900 variants, to fulfill market demand, and later Boeing 737 MAX to rule the narrow body sector. So, Boeing has been busy in making various varieties of planes and definitely wins the race with Airbus in terms of wide range of products as it started in 1916, almost 50 years before Airbus first launched on 1970. But Airbus has seen tremendous growth as Airbus planes are slightly reliable than Boeing and slight difference can make huge impact on market and it has been number one aerospace company since two years. But still Boeing remains world's largest aerospace company. So there is no clear winner who is number one. With that, it's time to see off for today. See you soon with another interesting topic. Till then, keep learning, keep watching and share this video with aviation enthusiastic. And if someone asks you a question, tell me who is close competitor of Boeing 737 MAX 8, then you can answer that question easily. Also comment your favorite comparison and suggest what next you want to watch and learn. And we will get into it. Finally, thanks for watching and stay safe.